Uh, it would have been a terror in the old west. No, why did it's supposed to fade to black, but it didn't. Whatever, you know. I don't compute. I don't. Yeah, I know. Yep. But it didn't, and here we are Sorry. on a Friday live show as we uh, live without a net. <laughs> We, I think it is fair to say what we do every week. If Paul is a high wire act. <laughs> yep. What's going to happen next? Will he step on the animal poo? Most likely. Most likely. <laughs> anyway, speaking of animal poo, yeah. um, Google's throwing some animal poo on on edge. Did you see? Yeah. This is. This came up on Windows Weekly. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's um. I want to be really clear about this. Um, there is nothing insecure about using an Edge extension in the new Edge, yeah. uh, a Chrome extension. Because it is Chrome. And, yeah, I, that's just deliberately misleading and yeah. is a dumb thing to do on Google's part. So. It feels desperate, kind of what it feels like. It feels childish, Yeah, you know? Yeah, it feels... it's, like, you know, it's like, no, you're a poop head. You know, like, that doesn't even make sense. Well, you know, <laughs> like, what are you talking about? I don't know. Well, this, this show's getting off to a fast start, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Really, really fast start. There's something else. I don't even know. Oh, you ordered a phone. I did, yeah. Why? And what? Because uh, it's been a couple of months. <laughs> um, <laughs> no, I don't. Well, there's, <laughs> look, I know it's not going to pan out, but there's this hope that the new... Uh, the high-end Samsung, which has the 108 megapixel mm -hmm. camera lens, one of them, um, will be great, and we'll see. But the thing is, I don't think it's going to make it, right? So we'll see. I mean, I, I've, mm -hmm. never, I've always been disappointed in the end by the Samsung cameras, but um, my wife needs a new phone anyway. And so I was going to upgrade her to the Note 10 Plus that I bought last year, mm -hmm. which is paid off or whatever, but... Um, this will be an interesting, you know, for, for the $700, this is going to cost me, um, I'll get a, a free pair of galaxy bud pluses. I'll get a free case for the phone and she'll have an, a year newer phone that will yeah. you know, last her for a longer period of time. If, if, if it so works out that, you know, I don't keep it for myself, which is what I expect. Mm -hmm. Uh, and then I get to write about it, you know, and so there's some value to that. So yeah. it's not a complete waste. I mean, you know, 1400 bucks per phone sounds ludicrous because that is literally ludicrous. That's a crazy amount of money. And if you are a Samsung fan and mm -hmm. you really want to own this thing, you know, wait two months because the prices oh, yeah. come down pretty dramatically over time and there are sales and, and whatever. But, you know, for purposes of reviewing it and stuff, I mean. Yeah, the 100X Zoom is, I think, a bad marketing thing because Apple, by that same thing or whatever you can say well, our phones have 10 or at least mine does has 10x zoom well but it, yes. it doesn't it, it has right. 2x so um i i'd have to go back and see exactly how samsung promotes this but the, i and if i'm wrong you know i'm just doing this off the top of my head but i think they describe it as like 10x optical and mm -hmm. it's not it's uh it's hybrid zoom it's a a combination of optics and lots mm -hmm. of computation um it's still better than pure digital zoom. And I think they're advertising, I think the 100X figure you just said is the digital zoom. Digital zoom is um, not completely worthless, but it's obviously it's gonna, you're going to introduce a lot of noise. And if you're yeah. holding it yourself, I mean, you, you oh, can't. Oh, yeah, you can't. There's I no mean, way. You know, by the time it reaches the top, you know, the subject, you, you might as well be doing this with the phone. I mean, uh, you would need a tripod. So, uh, you know, we'll see. I'm, I'm, just, I'm, always, I'm just very interested in this. I mean, we... I went to a couple of concerts mm -hmm. recently. Um, you can always tell, like, uh, you, you ever see the movie Major League where the plane, they're going on a really crappy plane and it's going up and down in the storm. And there's this guy who's like a voodoo guy, but he starts playing, he starts praying to like Jesus or whatever. And the guy's mm -hmm. like, oh, he's not fooled, you know? It, like, when the, when the shit hits the fan, that's when you really find out about pe like what people really think about stuff. And, um, you know, like when, it, when pictures really matter to me, um, or I want to really zoom in and get a pretty clear shot. Like I'll bring these days the Huawei uh, phone with me. So I've done that with concerts or if I go on a trip, like I'll do the same thing. Like I just really like the way that camera works. Um, I happen to use a Google phone day to day and it takes great pictures for the most part, but it, but when it really, really matters, you know, mm -hmm. um, I will switch phones. And so I, I'd love to find one 
device that had it all, you know? Yeah. Um, we'll see. Yeah. So I did this right before the show and I just kind of forgot about it as I do, as I do things and then forget about it. So yeah. I was on Netflix eating lunch, watching TV or whatever. And I realized <laughs> there's no way to actually filter 4k content. That's all it, that's on the app. Yeah. 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 And I, so I tweeted at them and then they, they messaged me back and I shouldn't be, I shouldn't be sarcastic to them. Um, but they're, the first question they ask in DMs is, um, does Which your app? device support 4K? Oh, yikes. Like, hey, listen, I'd love to go through the custom support uh, flowchart that I know you're using, but yes. seriously? Like, like, I'm paying for 4K. I know it supports 4K. That's Hold on, I'm let me actively... wipe the drool off my remote and find out. Like, <laughs> seriously. So they just messaged me and it was like, I, uh, like, I appreciate the quick response. That's great. Uh, all I want to know is just how do I search? I don't. Sometimes you'll see, you know, I don't know what you call them, but those rows they have, like it, one will be mm -hmm. like your list and then whatever it is. One of them, sometimes they'll say, it will say like 4K. I've yet to have it say 4K. Mine is always. I see um, that sometimes. But yeah. I don't think it's their whole collection. I think it's. No, it's uh, definitely not. Most of their stuff is in HD, which looks fine on the TV, but you know, like. Eh, so it's... if you look this up, like uh, people have all these different hacks for getting to new, different areas of Netflix that are normally hidden or seeing certain lists and things. Um, they all require you to be on a real computer using a browser. So mm. I suspect you could find a list of their actual 4K content that way. So it's my, my guess. Yeah. I wonder if that, I haven't tried it on a browser because who uses the browser? Well, of course uh, not. But if you just want to find the content, like in right. other words, yeah. right. I know that's ridiculous, but I mean, I, but it's also the most powerful device. And so they have more capabilities. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. I know. I know. I know. A um, bunch of more games coming to coming to yeah. xCloud which is great but not on ios which yeah yeah is a bit of a well error. maybe that'll be changing soon right <laughs> you know because of the news we saw this week i mean apple seems to have seen the light about uh all the customer stuff that people want and yeah maybe this will be for all the right reasons i message on other platform not holding up no that's crazy talk but yeah yeah but, yeah so anyways that's the dream that i keep holding out for but um I have a story for you, Brad. Uh-oh. Um, this morning, um, I went to the gym late, later than usual because, you know, we're doing the, you know, we don't do the show mm -hmm. in the morning, blah, 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 whatever it is. Mm -hmm. And my wife was like, oh, you should grab something for lunch on the way home. And then I was like, well, if I'm going to do that, I'm going to have to go at a particular time. And I kind of, you know, figured it out. So I, I basically had like 30 minutes to kill at one point. And I was like, you know what? I'm going to experiment with that Sonos thing. So I pulled a speaker out of the kitchen, you know, decoupled the stereo pair. Yeah put it in the living room, attached it with an ethernet cable to the router. Mm -hmm. um, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Brought it back up, right? Mm -hmm. Re-identified it as a new speaker or a different, you know, same speaker, different room, whatever. Um, I'll spare you the inanity of, well, no, I won't. I'll tell you this. So <laughs> <laughs> I, have, I was well, going to make it easier for you, but now this I'm is, not. Yeah, well, I mean, this is I, just because I feel like some people, some other people might actually run into this problem. Um, I have a router. The thing I think of as the router is the thing my cable company gave me, and it has probably four Ethernet ports in the back. Mm -hmm. I've disabled its Wi-Fi, mm -hmm. and I'm using Wi-Fi through the Google Wi-Fi, which is that mesh networking thing that I'm using. Mm -hmm. So attached to it via an, uh, an Ethernet cable is uh, a Google Wi-Fi. And I have a couple of other things attached to, directly to that router, like my uh, Roku and I think my, app, uh, what do you call it, Amazon Fire TV stick. Mm -hmm. But there's like one port open on it. So I plug the Sonos into that. And the reason I'm telling you this story is that's that's not the Wi-Fi router. That's the that goes out yeah. to the internet. So just so you know, that didn't work. <laughs> so yeah. I spent a little bit of time because you have to be on the, the same network as the Wi-Fi. Well, let me just say it didn't work. But the point is once I connected attached to the sorry, I'm mean, I'm babbling here. Attached to the s Google Wi-Fi is a mm. switch, which has other stuff on it. So I plugged it in there and it came up like immediately. Oh, so okay. For some reason, when I plugged it off of the back of the internet router. I guess oh, that what, makes sense. I think it makes sense. Yeah. Anyway, no, no, no. It, yeah. It, it, it happened. I mean, what if it doesn't make sense or not? It's just so, if anyone's going to do this, I mean, if you if you have this kind of a setup, just so mm -hmm. you know, uh, it has to be on the same thing as the Wi-Fi, if that makes sense. Yep. Anyway. Um, Which and, does make sense. Yeah. I think it does. Um, so it. it it works immediately. Like it was fine. Like, mm -hmm. um, it was fine. 
Like I went out to, the, and by it, I don't mean the speaker in the living room. That worked fine too. Who cares? Yeah. But I mean, as I walked out to the sunroom and cranked on those big speakers and perfect immediately. And I've been having a lot of problems with those lately mm -hmm. and with the ones in the kitchen, but now there's only one in the kitchen, so it doesn't matter. But um, yeah, it was really actually kind of nice. Now, the other thing is if you go into the Sonos app, you know, dance settings network, you'll see you can, if you can, you can choose like the wireless, well, you can choose the wireless network, mm -hmm. but then once you do this, there's a second option that comes available. That's like Sonos net or something. Yes. That's the one you want. And that lets you choose the channel. Yep. And, um, now it's possible there'll be an interference at some point in the future and I'll have to screw around with it, whatever. But, and I can't say hundred percent. I just tested it once and it worked. I mean, whatever, but I have to say like after a few disappointing nights of like, seriously, what the hell, mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, trying to get this thing to work, like it just kind of came on normally, uh, which is, you know, b the baseline for things that work, yeah, I guess, yeah, but it was kind of, you know, <laughs> but, but it was nice. Like it was, you know, so I did do that. Um, well, that's good. Yeah. And I'll, I'll write this up eventually. I, I still haven't written anything about like Apple TV and or the um, Echo input, which is the Amazon Chromecast like dongle. Like I still am going to write about that stuff. Mm -hmm. uh, but I just want, you know, this thing was in kind of a, a holding pattern because it wasn't working correctly. And I, I wanted to be able to say something semi intelligent about that. And maybe I'm there now. I don't know. So, you know, that's anywho, a but little, yes, <laughs> yes. Um, I'll try to write it in a less babbling form than I just said it out loud, but it, yeah, that's the basic story. Yeah. I mean, the, the short version is you plugged it in and it worked. That's the irony is that they promote that they're wireless speakers, <laughs> but the way you fixed it was by plugging in at least one wire. Yeah. And I need to kind of investigate this a little more to understand why this works the way it does and what this even means or whatever. And I'm sure there are Sonos guys are out there who are like, oh yeah, you know, like I, I knew mm. you need to do this the whole time or whatever, but. Um, I'm just happy it worked because honestly, what this means is I need to have a $100 speaker in my living room, even if I don't want music in there. <laughs> but, 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 but that sounds ludicrous. Um, that's cheaper than running Ethernet out to that <laughs> sunroom or whatever. Yeah. Um, I guess unless I did it myself, which would be difficult, but possible. I mean, it's cheaper than finding a new wireless system that let me change. I mean, there's all kinds of other things I could have done, I guess. Mm -hmm. um, but, Honestly, if it works, I'm, I'm fine with that. So, plus we eventually do want to have speakers in there, um, you know, for as part of a TV thing. Yeah, you just, just go buy, I think, a beam. There you go. Yeah, yeah, just go, just go spend six hundred bucks. You'll solve all your problems. Well, you don't need the six hundred. You just need the four hundred, <laughs> and then you're going to want the sub. So then you're into about a grand. <laughs> yeah, uh, no, I, right, right. And then I'll get the two little ones for the um, for the rears, and then I've spent twelve hundred bucks. Yeah, your wife's like, "What? What are you doing?" He's like, "Look, I had to spend twelve hundred dollars to, no, I'm to, fixing to the fix." Wife, I think. I, <laughs> what do you mean? Also, we're watching Star Wars tonight. Yes, I need yeah. to watch some Star Wars. Like I, I, I told you, I've been. Like I was just browsing through Netflix. I was like, ah, oh, there's a lot of stuff. I've been deliberately one, not watching stuff because I've been doing the basement. Uh, right. But two, waiting for the TV and all that stuff. There's a lot of stuff well, I really watch really it on watch. Disney. Obviously, that might be the only way you can't watch it. Um, yeah. It's because it's in 4K. Yep. So I got that. Our couches, I believe, are, are the rest of our couches are coming next Wednesday or like nice. this upcoming Wednesday. So are they on some kind of a stagecoach? What's the mode of transportation? <laughs> <laughs> what is yes we didn't pay for the upgraded ox and we only have one yeah, horse exactly. pulling well Some i mean with a whip back there they're not it's not <laughs> ikea furniture like these are proper like couches that should last for um at least to my daughter's did, a teenager I, I sent that these are high quality particle board uh things i've got behind me i i <laughs> they're they're held together with little wooden dowels i mean i <laughs> Whatever could go wrong. <laughs> I mean, just, if I tripped and fell into it, it would probably collapse like a, you know, a house of cards. But when we bought um, the <laughs> the TV stand that the TV is on, it, I was just going to get something from IKEA. I was like, no, let's do something different or whatever. And uh, it actually came flat packed, and yeah. because we like literally went to the warehouse and got it, and I believe they would have come to our house and built the thing. And I was like, yeah, whatever. Like I can build IKEA furniture. But like this thing was really well built. Like all you did was open it up and everything was pre-installed, hinged, and you just kind of like put, fold it up oh, nice. and then like put some pins in. It's like, oh, that's what not crappy furniture looks like. <laughs> <laughs> yep. I don't have any of that, but it sounds nice. Yeah, it sounds. It worked out well. So looking forward yeah. to that sectional and then there'll be some Star Wars just mostly for the music. That's what I love yeah. about Star Wars. So. Yeah, me too. 
Uh, so, I don't know. That's kind of about it. There's some icons, but icons be guy icons, whatever. I mean, I, I, you know, obviously I wrote this thing about the icons this morning. I know people, some people are going to look at that and be like, oh, there he goes again, you know. Mm -hmm. But, you know, I... <laughs> there he goes again. <laughs> I mean, seriously, like, look, I, I, they, I, I like them. Uh, to be yeah. honest, they look fine. They're, they're awfully blue, <laughs> you know, and I happen to like the color. I, I do use a blue background on my screen, mm -hmm. um, but I, I think we should also respect the fact that maybe other people might like different colors. Yeah. I, and I, you know, one of the things that was kind of nice about the old style icon, the kind of, in other words, everyone has today is that they changed with the dark to light mode theme as mm -hmm. you, you know, they re, they sort of respected that now. Mm -hmm. Looking at my taskbar, I see I couldn't really count them up, but I mean there's probably four or five, seven different kinds of icons, and so now there's one less fewer kind, I guess. <laughs> so they did solve a little bit of a problem, but I don't know. We also have, you know, we're five years into Windows 10, and technically this icon style debuted in Windows 8, and so we're really kind of like eight years in. And what that means is a lot of third-party apps have started using these flat icons, and they're mm -hmm. doing the white dark thing like Microsoft's been telling them to do. And Microsoft just arbitrarily colorized a bunch of their icons for some reason. And now the icons all look different again. So I, I don't know. Like I... They're icons. They're icons, yeah. They're, I, li I like them. I mean, that's the thing. I actually mm -hmm. do like them. I, and then you open the app and it's still the same piece of crap it was before. And that's a little disappointing, but you know. Hey, we're so close. We're so close. <laughs> you know, it doesn't. We we're going to end on any, a compliment sandwich. Didn't and... fix any yeah, substantive problems. But the icon's pretty. No. Well, know. you know, on your uh, on your tombstone, when you die an early death, I'll pick the ugliest icon and <laughs> yes, right, blaze right. it right the on the notepad icon with the glass. Would be nice. But why is it looking off to the side? Actually, you know what I'll put on your tombstone is the little blue, like when an app crashes, like the little spinny. Yes. <laughs> yes. Uh boy. And then every anniversary, I'll come and put a beach ball. And be like, "Why is he putting a beach ball on his tombstone?" It's like you know. I already have. I already have the bottle for my tombstone. It's uh, he died as he lived, stupidly. <laughs> that's that's great. Which minor Netflix update? I did go to Netflix.com, logged in, cannot mm -hmm. find a way, at least easily, to. No, no, you got to Google this because there are people of like it's not hacking Netflix, but people mm -hmm. have found all these secret parts of netflix and ways to access you know stuff that netflix doesn't typically show you there's a whole subculture of this stuff dude it's 4K like a netflix content oh great it binged it um, let's go to a real it's like first make sure you have a 4k tv <laughs> there's literally a website called what's on netflix like oh i guess i can see people like really what, yeah, yeah. No, it's crazy. It, what, what really do you need does. to stream a 4k netflix first thing <laughs> number one item a 4k tv <laughs> Does it say that? Yeah. That's amazing. So I guess I can look at this website and it'll tell me all the yeah. different things. And that'll be great. Yep. Or well, it will be something. It will be yeah. better than not knowing, I guess. I don't know. Yep. So, all right, folks. Well, that wraps it up for today. Uh, we'll be back, I think, Monday because Monday is not a holiday, unlike this past Monday was. But we still podcast because we love you. Yeah, we probably got paid extra. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs>